After their previous lunar watch, the C1 moon glow tended towards the eye-wateringly glowy, Crystal Ward has finally pulled back a little to show off an absolutely beautiful take on the moon phase, dubbed, of course, the C1 moon phase. To hammer home the celestial theme, the dial's made from a venturine glass, with all the twinkling faux stars that entails. The moon disc is also made from the same material, which, thanks to its size, gives some serious depth to the night sky motif. And of course the moon glows. A lot. 25% bigger than Crystal Ward's previous moon glow, the twin moons, one for waxing, one for waning, are made from a combination of ceramic and superluminova dubbed globolite. It doesn't just take elements from the C1 moon glow either. The moon phase is actually based on a similar mechanical concept to the bel canto. Not the chiming part, obviously, but the modular nature of Crystal Ward's JJ calibers. The JJ04 is the same base movement as a 01, the heart of the bel canto, but links the moon phase to the hour. This means it's always in motion, and granted it's motion that's too slow to notice, uh, but it's good to know all the same. The downside to it is a 38 hour power reserve. The constantly moving moon's going to drain some power, but it's still not a great amount these days. Otherwise, the watch is incredibly pared back, as pared back as an oversized moon and sheet of starry aventurine could be at any rate. There's no numerals interrupting the vista, and the handset is functional, faceted but otherwise lets the rest of the watch do the talking. That clarity is helped along by a box sapphire crystal, always good to see. On the wrist, the C1 moon phase is 40.5mm of stainless steel. It's dressier than many other Crystal Ward pieces, I'm personally more used to their divers, and the case is a little less faceted and light catchery than others. My main problem is that it does feel a bit big for the dress watch it aspires to be. If it dropped to say 39mm, yes the moon would be a bit smaller, but the watch as a whole would feel better on my wrist. Available on a bracelet or leather strap, I'd opt for the leather if you're planning on wearing it as a dress watch. That said, their shiny new 5-link consort bracelet is a stunner, sitting nicely on the wrist and showing off some exceptional finishing at this price point, which in typical Christopher Ward fashion is very accessible. It'll set you back £1,995 on leather, 2120 on metal. Honestly, I was never a huge fan of the Moon Glow. It always felt it had too much going on, and to see Crystal Ward revisit the Moon phase in the opposite direction with a clear focus on that oversized moon is phenomenal. I love it, and I'd love it a little bit more if it was just a bit smaller.